Hey everybody, this is Garth Brooks. Stick around, we're going to take you behind the scenes of Working for a Living with Huey Lewis. Garth called me and said, how about it? I said, anytime, anywhere, you name it. <laughs> this is, in the big picture, a dangerous video to shoot. You have 10 cars that are capable of going 180 miles an hour, and we'll be passing these guys quite fast. We've done some pretty stupid stuff, but I've never took anybody else with me. <laughs> If one of us gets killed in the shoot, it'll be really good for the other guy. <laughs> so it's just fun. It's going to be a fun day. <laughs> Pretty exciting stuff. Working for a living, living out of working. Taking what they're giving, cause I'm working for a living. that they're going to be standing on this black and white strip here. We should set up that dolly first. It's 5.45. I should be home, sleeping. Are you sleeping right now? Yeah. I'm rehearsing my line. <laughs> God's idea was to do NASCAR. He always has great ideas. My job is to execute them, try to come up with the real shots that make it work and make it a fun, great video. And John, you know, this is his favorite saying. Okay, no problem. <laughs> that's, that's his thing. I want to come out of a puddle of red paint on the floor in a white tux. I want to stand inside the fire. I want to see something on fire fall in front of us. I want to do Central Park live. Blimp shots, helicopters, everything. And then the last thing is, John, I, I want to stand out while cars are doing 180 miles, brushing by us, singing with Huey Lewis, a classic hit, working for a living. No problem. Close it to the light. Hold that right there. Good morning. You again, huh? NASCAR Rockstar. T4, 90 degree shutter. Larry, you okay, sir? One more focus mark and a seat adjustment. We're good. Okay, camera up. Let's go, guys. Here we go. Ready and playback. Playback. Rolling. I always felt like working for a living it would be a great country tune if only somebody would realize that. Sundays won't end ever, and Sundays pass on by. I'll be working here forever, at least until I die. Damn if you do. This is an idea I've had for a long, long time that I've wanted to do. And when you work for a label, uh, I'm lucky enough to be one of the artists that gets to do 99% of the things you want to do. But still, that 1%, there's things in there that they just were shot down. And this was one of them. Taking what they're giving, cause I'm working for a living. Yeah when Garth called me. I leapt at this opportunity as a chance to give the song a new airing and to work with Garth. That's fine, they both went off at the same time. Working for a living, living out of working, taking what they're giving cause I'm working for a living, yep. Working for a Living for me is an obvious choice. It's everything from the past about Garth that hopefully you like with a new twist, and that new twist is Huey Lewis. Working for a living, living and I'm working, taking what they're giving cause I'm working for a living, yep. And cutting. Cutting. Good. Excellent. These reload, steady cam, job. Steady cam's up next. You know, one thing I haven't done, and Garth seems to be doing a little more than me, I haven't been playing it into the camera at all. And that might be good. When he's playing into the camera, and I'm looking at him, and he's paying no attention, he's going to the camera, I'm going, good. One more take of performance, then we move on to some special effect shots. That was great, I just gotta start you, just going a little faster. I think what's nice about it is John, our director, is 
very wise. Now you see what the other cameras have to shoot to get this. And he knows that you got to keep things rolling. Let's clear this stuff away. It's 9 o'clock, and we've done about 15 takes already. We only have another 10 hours to go. And now we're into the individual shots with the cars. I expect it to be very loud. Here come the cars. This sound, that's the whole heart and soul of NASCAR. And we're what, 20 feet, 30 feet from them when they go by? Is that dangerous? So welcome to a Garth Brooks video. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. He has no idea. Yes. Yeah. Because of the temperature and the weather here, what I want to do with you guys is, first thing, we're going to spend about an hour and 15 minutes shooting performance. So we're going to be setting up the cars. Just to give you an example, these are NASCARs. Those are NASCAR cars. We'll get you two guys here, no cars. We'll sing a part of the song. And then these cars will come ripping through like this. And as this opens up, this guy comes in and goes right around you. Last night when we had our little production meeting, John, our director, mentioned that it would be nice if we stood in the track at one point and had the cars go by us. You know, I don't know how fast they'll be going, but they'll be going by you. These cars will do 180 miles an hour. They're real, okay? Everything about it is real. Cars in the foreground. Correct. Cars in the background. Correct. Here in the middle. Right. And they stagger it. So this is what you... <laughs> and what you're saying is we're actually going to be out there when it goes. This no, is no. the first I've heard of us <laughs> being on the track. And I've got so many things on my plate that I'll focus on what we're doing once we get there. And so, you know, the first night we got here, I'm sitting in a room hearing that we're actually going to be on the track when the cars are, are passing by and... No, it's okay for Garth Brooks, but not for Huey Lewis, whatever you do. If something would happen to him and I'd be somewhat responsible for it, I'd, I'd never forgive myself. The shots we that are all long, good. Who cares? <laughs> Just don't stick your arm out. <laughs> Mr. Brooks told me he's not going to stand on the tracks when the cars go by. I didn't think it was such a big deal that cars would be going by then. You know, okay, so they're going 160 miles an hour. How dangerous could it be? We're using te technology, and they're allowing us to be on the track, sing, take us off, keep the cameras locked off, and then shoot the cars going by, then they put the two together. And hopefully, if it, if it works, it looks like we're standing right out in the middle of it when it's all going down. The most important thing, as we're going through, don't look at anything else but your marks. Okay. The scene that we're doing is we are splitting Garth and Huey, imagining that they're out here, so we have two cars that will be tight on each other and then split. He'll never come near where you are. Be aggressive, please. Follow the leader. Don't hit anybody. You good, sir? We're good. Shot. Here we go. All right, guys, I got to go to work. I just don't get what the NASCAR cars have to do with it. <laughs> and action! Right. Don't move, don't move anything! Don't move anything! Okay, we're watching playback and... Front cars are supposed to stay together. They're gonna, they're gonna split 20 feet in behind the bag. They've been doing it about 100 feet behind the bag. Okay. That'll make a huge difference. So the first special effect shot sucked. Didn't work. Not daring enough. Got to move the cars closer together. That's hand slow to a stop. Got it. Well, they didn't kill you because you're here, but he was right there. Oh yeah. Get it closer. You're dead. Black leather, Atlanta in the summertime. Good choice, Huey. It's a uh, 104 degrees right now. Track temperature is 126 degrees. Freaking hot. It's only about 130 in here right now. 
straight sun down on the asphalt, they're expecting it to be somewhere around 160, 170 on the track. I'm pretty much going to melt like a candle, I think. Every artist needs a fan. We're sitting in the car because it's air conditioning. They're telling us to get in there so our makeup stays fine. And he was sitting on the phone, and I'm sitting there, I got nothing to do. And I'm looking around, and the track's empty. I have a rented Cadillac here. And I see the car going around the track, and I go, who's in my car? And they go, Yui and the Goths. You went for a joyride. You want to tell us about that? No. We got in trouble, so I can't speak about anything. It was Garth's idea. I had, I, I said, I don't think we better do this. It's not right. Garth, Garth made me. Yes, the car didn't belong to us. Yes, we took it without permission. And yes, we drove it around a couple of times. Once I took it for a lap, Huey got off the phone. He's like, well, that's, that's cool. I said, come on, man, you got to do it. So we pulled up where no one could stop us. And by the time they got there, we'd already switched places again. And he took off. And he pushed it way harder than I did. It's like you have to. I mean, what are you going to do, be a wuss? I was too much of a wuss. But he'd come on that big turn coming into home stretch, and his foot just got heavier and heavier. It's your one opportunity. Why not step on it? These guys are going 190. Certainly, we can go 90. It was a rush. It was great. Like it? I love it. That's the whole great thing about this video. It's all about the working man in all of us. See if you can get really tight on that. All of us have that whole thing of you're working for Uncle Sam, you're working for your kid's education, you always seem to be working for somebody else. And I think this is what this song kind of, um, kind of speaks out and speaks out very well, even though now the song has to be 25 years old. I wish I was the director, because I know what to do right now. What are we waiting on? That's what a director does. You'll see enough of it? Yeah, I think so. So, you think it's a tag two or is it two singles? I think it's a tag two. No. Got it. Let's have baby sticks on this one, please. <laughs> Just are you guys what doing? What kind of happy you want? I'm Dorf. What is it? Joseph. Joseph, nice, nice to meet you. you. Clint, nice to meet you. So you got Mr. Lewis out there with you? Yeah. Yeah, someone had to go get him off his ass, retired, just hanging out. <laughs> he's the hardest working guy. We were trying to schedule this, and he's like, well, okay, but I'm playing, you know, 45 days straight in a row, but I got this one day off, you want to do it, and that's, I don't see how he does it. I think what Huey Lewis brings with him is working for a living. I think he brings the blue-collar mentality. It's like getting to work with Chris Ledoux. You know, when we talked about Ledoux years ago, we used the term man's man. Well, that's what Huey is. Huey's a man's man, so when you grab him and sing with him, it just feels good to grab him. He'll punch you back and push back. I live in Montana most of the year. Montana is Garth Brooks country. My stature is so increased by working with Garth. It's going to be fabulous. I'm really enjoying myself working with a guy that's all heart and soul at the same time, talented as hell. And that's the kind of people I like to hang around with. You know, I'd like to think I'm, I'm similar to him in a lot of ways. He treats his people wonderfully. Most of the people around him have been with him for a long time. He's very respectful. You know, he's just a good guy. Hey, Huey. Huey, let's take a picture. Huey. 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 Denim or black, stay away from me. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else you run over. Yeah. <laughs> What do we do now? Yeah. Same thing. It's that little vamp at the right. end. I want to do everything that the director needs. That's when you're going to actually turn around, you know. I want to do everything I can. When John brought up the point that we were going to be in the middle and the cars are going to pass us, Garth said right away, I'm worried about that. And, and then I talked to the director. I said, is he really? He says, he's not worried for himself. He's worried for you. Huey's over here selling us out. He's already saying, yeah, stick us out there in the middle of them while they're driving 800 miles an hour. I know he's not afraid, because he'll do anything. We've done some pretty stupid stuff, but I've never took anybody else with me. <laughs> John tells me they're only going to go like 190, so I'm fine with it, if, if Gar's fine. So if he's all right with it, I'll, I'll hang with him. All right, let's bring him out. I'll stay out of your way. Every element in this video is difficult. On every level. There's multiple cameras to be set up. There's two artists. There's the blaring heat. And there's cars, racing cars. So you put it all together, it's very difficult. These cars 
or real race cars, a tire could fly off, something can happen, somebody can get hit, somebody can get killed. I'm going to spread you out so that the background cars are all the time running while the film is going, okay? Be safe. I felt somebody take my belt loop and start pulling me back. You can see I left Huey in the frame. He was, fend for yourself, you. You're on your own. When I turned around, I thought it was on purpose. I thought the guy had pulled a donut or something on purpose. It looks great though, doesn't it? See, nothing ever goes wrong. Right. It looked good. Okay. Right. You know, he told us they're all gonna stop behind you. Don't worry about it. It'll, it'll, you know, they'll stop in plenty of time. And when you look back and see that bank, and you see these guys crawling down off this bank, you're thinking, there's no way they're gonna be able to stop in time because these guys are hauling. These guys are great. Had one little problem at the first, but I think it got everybody's uh, ears uh, perked up, and and so safety first. And so far, everything's been great. Now let's great. get it right. Two eight four split. So we're coming up to our last shot, which we call the martini shot. And the shot is a camera mounted to one of the NASCARs, and it's driving around the track at 100 miles an hour, and it will see Garth and Huey there and pass them very quickly and go around. We just sing like a chorus until they pass us by, uh -huh. and then we just wait till we see wait, them on and the And I'll bank. be right over there, and I'll say, here they come again, and I'll say, start singing. It's already an anthem to me. It's already a big hit to me. And all I hope is we just don't, you know, bring it down at all. If sometimes when you remake songs, people, you know, it makes them want to hear the original as all a remake does. I hope this makes people go back to the original. And no offense to Huey, I hope they hear the original and go, ah, I want to hear Huey and Garth do it. You know, that, that, would, that would make me feel good. Can we show that to Garth? <laughs> yeah, wow. we're on it.